Unlike other California ghost towns, Eagle Mountain never truly died. A mystery buyer just purchased the entire California ghost town for $22.5 million, and a new chapter has been added to its history. Eagle Mountain is a ghost town in the California desert, in Riverside County. It was founded in 1948 by industrialist Henry Kaiser. Henry Kaiser founded Kaiser Permanente Healthcare for his workers and their families, and the town had fully integrated medical care system. The town is located at the entrance of the closed Eagle Mountain Iron Mine, once owned by the Southern Pacific Railroad, then Kaiser Steel. It is located on the southeastern corner of Joshua Tree National Park. Eagle Mountain is accessible by Kaiser Road from Interstate 10, 12 miles north of Desert Center. In 1950, s as the mine expanded, the town of Eagle Mountain grew to a peak population of 4,000 residents. It had wide, landscaped streets, lined with over 400 homes, some with as many as four bedrooms. 200 trailer spaces and several boarding houses provided living space for Kaiser's workforce. Other amenities included an auditorium, a park, a shopping center, a community swimming pool, lighted tennis courts, and a baseball field. There were several businesses, including a bowling alley, two gas stations, eight churches, and three schools. In the late 1930s, Kaiser built the West Coast's first fully integrated steel mill. In 1942, Kaiser built such a mill in Fontana, California, which is located 112 miles west of the Eagle Mountain Mine. Today, the Fontana Mills site includes other mills and the Auto Club Speedway, formerly the California Speedway. Kaiser then purchased the idle mines from the Southern Pacific Railroad, as a source of high-grade iron ore. This was a strategy Kaiser used to utilize rail and raw materials for an industrial operation in a previously agricultural, pig farm area. Production at Fontana was initiated during the Second World War, and iron shipments were increased in 1948. A mining town was constructed next to Southern California's largest iron mine. It was connected to the Southern Pacific Railroad that ran southwest from the mine to the Salton Sea and Fontana. Or shipments to the Fontana steel plant began, with five to eight 100-car trains running weekly. The mine's 100 millionth ton of iron or shipped was commemorated in a ceremony in 1977. But increased environmental concerns in the 1970s, and stiff foreign competition, led to a reduction in iron output, and a drop in population to a low of 1980. In the summer of 1980, the mine shut down briefly, reopening in September. Only 750 workers were brought back to the town, with an additional 150, with uncertain employment futures, in Indio, some 60 miles west. In November 1981, Kaiser Corporation announced the phasing out of half the Fontana Works, 
and the entire Eagle Mountain mine operation over several years. The population started reducing as layoffs began. The grocery store closed in 1982, and the post office, which had been active since 1951, closed in 1983. In June 1983, the last official graduating class celebrated their commencement at Eagle Mountain High School, followed by the closing of both the mine and mill. Eagle Mountain experienced a resurgence in 1986, when the California Department of Corrections proposed a prison for low-risk inmates in the town. The shopping center was converted in 1988 into the Eagle Mountain Community Correctional Facility. It was in operation until state budget problems and a fatal riot, when two inmates were killed, and led to the closing of the prison in 2003. Talks resumed in 2005 to reopen the prison facility. In 1988 there was a proposal to turn the gigantic 1.5 mile long iron mine into a massive, sanitary landfill. Trash was to be shipped by rail from the Los Angeles area, via the abandoned Eagle Mountain Railroad line. Due to numerous lawsuits regarding the environmental effects of the landfill, the project was cancelled. On April 17, 2023, the land and mining site were purchased for $22.5 million by California-based Ecology Mountain Holdings. It was previously owned by Eagle Mountain Acquisitions, one of the few mining subsidiaries that owned the land within the last 40 years. It is currently unknown what the company intends on doing with the area. A portion of the Eagle Mountain Railroad was used in the filming of the 1986 movie Tough Guys, in a scene, where a train is hijacked. Other films using Eagle Mountain locations include, Imposter, Live from Baghdad, Constantine, Battle of Los Angeles and Tenet. Top Gear USA has used Eagle Mountain at least three times. Eagle Mountain serves well as a stand-in for post-apocalyptic movie settings. What do you think of Eagle Mountain, should it be restored, would you live there? Leave your opinion in the comments and subscribe to the channel.